Ooh, I knew these blackberries would be good. I can smell them through the carton. So hey y'all, I'm back. It's Ray. Happy Monday. Um, I actually had hoped to be back a lot sooner with another video with some more content, but you know, I had some things happen in my personal life, so I wasn't able to get back to it right away, but we're back. First, I wanted to say thank you for the subscribers that I do have. I mean, I don't have a whole lot because this is now my second video, but thank you guys for subscribing and listening. I appreciate the feedback that I did get on Instagram as well as on YouTube, and there was actually a couple of things that people wanted to see. So the first is people had asked me to actually show some of the workouts and stuff that I do in the gym now that the gym is open. The second thing is um, to see and, and kind of give me questions or people wanted feedback um, on kind of what I ate and how I structured that. Luckily for me, I document a lot of what I cook just because I like to cook and I love to eat. So I figured I would show you that today. So I'm not gonna be cooking anything today, but I am going to give you guys some meal ideas of some things that I actually cooked and that's helped me along with my journey. Um, it doesn't have to be boring and eating healthy doesn't have to taste nasty either. So I thought that it might um, give you some little bit of ideas on some things to eat and cook while you figure out how long you're going to fast and how that fasting plan is going to work for you so stay tuned for that okay so my first recommendation would be to just keep it simple again it doesn't need to be super extravagant i told you guys earlier in my last video that i am not a fan of meal prep so i don't do meal prep at all but because i like to eat and i don't mind eating healthy i like to make sure that my meals are fresh every single day but i like to keep it consistent and i like to keep it simple so one of the first things that i think that i mentioned to you guys was just keep it on a steady plan as far as breakfast is concerned by the time i do eat it's usually about 12 or 12 30 and i pretty much will eat the same things for breakfast for the block of time so i think at first i started out with smoothies you can make the smoothies with any type of you know fruit of your choice milk almond milk water whatever the case may be I personally like to freeze my um, fruit and cut them up and clean them before time so that you don't have to use ice and then it doesn't make it watery I like a thick consistency for my smoothie if not it's like a juice right um, and I haven't really gotten into juices you know just yet like juices are okay I'm not much of a juice person even before this whole lifestyle change or whatever it is. I was never really like a big juice person. So that's maybe why I'm not really into juicing now. Also, I just feel like juicing, you can't really be consistent with that, right? I do think that the key in, um, to losing weight is consistency, but also you have to do stuff that you know you're gonna be able to maintain. And realistically, you're just not gonna be able to maintain drinking juice every single goddamn day i mean i know that i won't if you can do that that's great but for me it's just not realistic anyway once i moved on from the whole smoothie idea then i began making my avocado toast i really like avocado toast and i and i used to go elsewhere to purchase it but i was like dang this is like six seven eight dollars per slice of avocado toast so i just figured out how to make it myself which is pretty simple i'll put the ingredients i have a picture and pretty much it just was ezekiel bread which is very low in calorie i think it's made out of like like um, nuts and grains or something like that just google it it's healthy um, and then I would make my avocado spread and then I would fry an egg to put on top so you're kind of meeting the fats you're meeting the wheats that you need and you're meeting the protein factor but it's freaking delicious okay, so aside from all of that remember I also mentioned in my last video that I can eat the same thing for weeks on end for months on end and i'm okay with that i don't know why but i just am as long as it's good and it's fresh right mm -hmm. if you can find your place with finding foods that are consistent that you can eat that you know work with your body then i think this should be okay um so i definitely would recommend trying that it worked for me it might not work for some people but it worked for me and when you think about the benefit that you're going to have where your body is going to look good you're going to feel good you're going to have more energy maybe you can kind of tough it out for a little bit until you learn to play with your meals a little bit more that's just my suggestion remember as much as you like to eat because i love to eat the main purpose of eating is to make sure that you fuel your body so make sure you fuel your body with good food you can reward yourself from time to time but that's just kind of my thing anyway girl we're looking for results okay so tough it out for a few months i promise you you will be okay um now this phase i am just eating eggs with some sliced tomatoes 
I still have a hot a avocado every day. I do put a little bit of cheese in my egg and then I have some fruit on the side. So sometimes if I'm a little bit hungry because I had a really tough workout the day or you know hours before, sometimes I'll have like half a croissant or sometimes I'll have it with Ezekiel toast but I'm trying to keep down the bread factor. I love bread. I'm more of like a bread pasta type of girl more than I am like a cookies and cake and sandwiches type of person. I don't know. That's just me. It's it's kind of my thing. Okay, so first you have your, your breakfast figured out. So once you have that straightened out, then you're going to need to come up with some snacks, right? I can be pretty consistent with that too. The summertime is always great when it comes to working on your body and working on yourself because you're going to have more fruit options because more things are in season. So when I'm looking for a snack around this time, I'm going to get something like a cantaloupe or I'm going to get something like watermelon. I love watermelon, pineapples, or maybe some type of nuts and water, whatever it is, make it small, make it delicious, make sure that you enjoy it and just keep that for a snack when you need it. Again, I promise you, once you get into your fast, you are not going to be hungry like that. I promise you, because I was a girl that kept snacks in my purse, in my office, in my desk drawer, like I kept them everywhere and I, it's not, it's not really needed. Next are some meal ideas that I had. So I like fish. I like salmon a lot. Like I probably have salmon more than I have anything because it's just really good to me. Even if I go to a restaurant because I think that it's still, you know, acceptable to go out to eat or order out while you're fasting, just choose some of the healthier options. And I still eat salmon. I love salmon. You can get salmon everywhere. So it's just really, really good. So I'm going to post a couple of ideas for you that I actually make and made during this time of my transition which i'm still making i don't make it every day now of course but i still make some of these things because i just freaking love to eat um i do have a pasta idea i do have a salad idea i have some fish with some vegetable ideas um, I have a couple of different things that I make and so I'm going to post what they are and I'm going to post the ingredients too. I do not measure so I can't tell you how much of this I put there. The seasoning, you'll have to figure that out. But I do have faith in you. You will be able to figure it out. Um, I will say this though. When you're cooking, um, try to find something that's very low in sodium as far as your seasoning salt is concerned. Me, I can tell when my body has consumed too much salt because, you know, I have a little bit of extra puffiness in my face or in my fingers or in my feet or whatever just because it's too much salt. So I use like different salt substitutions. If you shop at a Trader Joe's, if you shop at um, even Whole Foods, places like that, they always have some type of seasoning that is sodium free. So that's going to be very helpful. Uh, make sure that you do wash all your vegetables. I see a lot of people cooking these days and people are not rinsing off, soaking. I, I don't want to eat over because the food's not clean. I don't want it. Um, so do that. Like I said before, I do have rheumatoid arthritis. So the way that my body will act when I eat something that I shouldn't be eating or I intake something that I shouldn't, it reacts pretty quickly because it inflames my tissues, etc. So I can feel it. Maybe everybody's not like that and that's completely fine. But I like that to a certain extent because it keeps me more aware of what I should or should not be consuming. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also check me out on Instagram you'll be able to follow more of what I cook live I guess um, more upfront pictures on what I do me able to see some gym posts things like that and I'll try to come back and post more content soon if you have any questions let me know thank you guys